Hi, it's me again with Corelled All Tips and Tricks. Earlier today, I made a video. Somebody sent me this magnifying glass and I started thinking about it. It looks like Corel's magnifying glass. So I thought this is going to be probably the shortest video I've ever made. If you take your magnifying glass, I don't know if you can see the plus sign and you move your wheel and you can move it left and right or just click on it and it'll bring, you know, if you click on it just one time. Now, I brought in the shift key because watch the magnifying glass now when I hit the shift key, it becomes a minus sign and you can make it smaller and smaller and smaller and then let go of it and make it where you have to zoom in. And then every time you click on it, it'll get bigger and bigger. Now there's plenty of tools up here to do the same thing. You know, you've got turn it into a minus, you know, and but it's still you've got to click on this menu where it'd be pretty easy to just hold down the shift key and then, you know, zoom in on all objects, which is basically the F4. It even shows it right there. That's a hot key. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I use that a lot. Let's say I drew an object way off here. That doesn't really hurt me in my laser business because the laser is only going to run stuff that's on this, but on my plasma cutter, it's going to see that at, and I don't see it. So before I save a file, I hit F4 and voila, there they are. Anyway, so try the shift key next time you're zooming in and out and see if it helps you. And of course, it's not that big a deal because if you grab the zoom tool and you just move your wheel in and out, if you have it set for that. Anyway, I hope that gave you a little information. Thank you for watching.